Yo, what is up, guys? It's Inferno. Today I'll be showing you how to get gel sacks in Subnautica. So, from the starting area near your um, main life pod, you just want to go about northwest to west. I mean, northwest to north. So, yeah, you just want to go like in the middle, pretty much. So, where we're going for this location is actually towards the Lost River. So we're going to be going about 500 to like 600 meters deep. So you want your Seamoths to be upgraded at least. And uh, yeah, you want to probably want fins. You want, probably want fins, yeah, ultra red fins, rebreather, just all this stuff, all this stuff. Because this, yeah, we're going pretty deep. So the threat level, not too high because there, like, there are some of those electric eels, there are those teleported guys, but you can easily evade them. But yeah, this area is pretty safe nonetheless because you just have to go enter right at the Lost River and then you can just get out. So yeah, in this area, like, because the gel sacks are actually pretty hard to find in other areas. You can find them in the mushroom, f the mushroom forest, but those are it's really hard to find there so this has like a pretty much guarantee can you have a guaranteed chance of getting it in this location while in the mushroom forest it's gonna be kind of random pretty hard uh yeah so just keep watching show you how to get it so yeah just keep going about northwest to north until yeah you finally see this huge cliff going downwards once you get here you should be about a thousand meters away from your main life pod and as soon as you see this huge gap, you just want to go down, just straight down, just keep going down. You're going to see blood oil around the way too, so if you need it, you can just take it, but it's not what we're here for. So yeah, yeah, these guys are dangerous, but you can easily dodge them. But yeah, you just want to keep going down, just like I'm doing, just keep going down and then go a little bit forward. Those things are creepy, bro. Yeah, keep going down, just like what I'm doing. Yeah, you see blood oil, quartz everywhere, pretty much. So yeah, once you see this huge, like, this huge gap into this area. Yeah, once you see this huge thing, this is where you, this is where you find the jail sack. So, there are gonna be some enemies in here, but you probably won't have to actually get close to them. I recommend you stick on the left side, because most of them will be on the right side. But yeah, as you can see, there's ruby, there's blood oil, pretty much. So yeah, most of them stay on the right side, so just stay on the left side. But yeah, so you just want to search around. No, that's a urinite, I believe. But yeah, you just want to, like, you can search around for it. It should be close to that green gas. You just want to stay to the left side at all times. So yeah, there's urinite here too, but don't need that so yeah these oh wait where was he just saw something no whatever so yeah, you're gonna find it don't worry about those noises I know they're creepy but just don't worry about them <laughs> but yeah so yeah just keep looking around this area like around this uh, sea seabed I believe because you're gonna find it in this area, and this area is smaller too, so you could probably find it pretty quick. Don't know why I'm having trouble finding it. These guys will do damage to you, but they barely do any damage. Yeah, right here. So yeah, just a gel sack right here. You just wanna, so if you don't find it here, you just wanna keep looking around like the sea floor. Cause you're gonna find one at least so yeah there's two right here so before you well i'm gonna pick up one but before you pick up the other one oh yeah there's actually a bunch here but before you pick up the other one or pick up one hit it twice with your knife because then you get the seeds for it and you can use it in your plant bed so yeah you hit it twice and then pick it up so yeah now you have gel sacks but you're probably wondering like oh i need more than one but this is where your planter comes in handy so let me just go, let me just go back really quick. But yeah, so basically you can, and that's why you want to hit, you want to hit the gel sacks twice 
before you can actually like before you actually collect it like you can still collect it and everything but you just want to hit it twice before you can collect it so you can get the seeds and you can use it in your plant box I'm, or like planter or whatever it's called and you can pretty much get an unlimited source of gel sacks and I just use it as energy now because I have unlimited energy basically so if you need energy for your base if you need gel sacks anytime you can literally get them anytime you want oh yeah so let me just go back to my house really quick like my base just want to go straight up straight up yeah you just want to go straight up keep going forward oh no i hate that noise bro i hate that noise bro. It's that little chime i always think these guys are ghost leviathans like like tiny versions of the ghost leviathans I've only seen one so far on my whole like playthrough of Subnautica. Strange man. But yeah, these fucking are creepy, bro. I almost pooped my pants when I saw it. But yeah, so I'm gonna just go back to my base. Keep going up. But yeah, I'm so gel sacks. I don't remember what they're used for. Oh, I think I think it's used for arrow gel, right? Yeah, they're used for aerogel, yeah. So if you want aerogel, you need to use a ruby and a gel sack. I have a ruby um, tutorial on my YouTube channel. If you want to go check that out. But uh, yeah, you just need to use rubies, gel sacks. You can pretty much get unlimited gel sacks with this guide. But rubies, dude, rubies are really easy to find if you go to watch the tutorial. Shameless plug. plug. But uh, yeah. With aerogel, I don't remember. What else can you make with aerogel? I think. Okay, whatever. I don't remember remember what you can make with aerogel, but I know you can make something useful. But yeah, so ruby and gel sacks. Like honestly, you don't really need to worry about gel sacks too much. But if you want to get aerogel, just go to that location I just showed you. Trust me, if you go to like the mushroom forest, because you can find it there, but it's gonna be extremely hard to find it there. While in the Lost River, you can find like at least three of them, and you can get pretty much unlimited amounts of them. Say so we're nearly in my base. I already have like a gel farm, pretty much like a gel sack farm, pretty much, because I don't even need gel sacks anymore. I have like an unlimited amount, so I just use it as energy for my base, because it does give you energy. So I'll just show you what happens really quick. Okay, almost here. Yeah, we're pretty much here. So this is my gel sack from. I have no clue I took damage. So yeah, let me just take a bunch of these. Let's mm. see what should I do. I'm just gonna use this. Drop these salt deposits. Yeah, so pretty much. Oh my god, I keep getting interrupted. Yeah, so pretty much you want to use the planter. So you want to use a habitat builder to make this planter. And uh, with this, you want to use the gel sack spores you got. Switch the containers. And then you want to wait, like, I don't know how long you have to wait, but just wait a little bit. So, same thing with these, because I used this, I did the exact same thing. I planted these um, gel sack spores. So, if you want to get an unlimited amount of gel sacks, pretty much do this. And then once these get full, hit it twice again, and then take it, and then you pretty much just use the planter again, put the gel sacks. So like for every one, for every one gel sack, you can get three of them back, which is pretty crazy to me. So I already have a bunch of them already. So I think there's a bunch of here. Right? Yeah, I have a bunch of gel sacks here. But um. Yeah, so if you ever need energy, I don't remember what this is called actually. The bioreactor, yeah. If you ever need energy, you can literally just put your gel sacks in there. And yeah, you're good to go, basically. So yeah, that's how to get gel sacks. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Peace.